you guys? It's Madonna. Welcome back to another PA Q&A Tuesday. If you haven't already done so, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Madonna the PA. And if you have any questions that you would like answered live on video, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below because I will choose from those questions for future videos, okay? Dear Adana, my name is Sabin and I'm 20 years old and I have my PA interview next week. I just want to ask you, did you, how did you prepare for the interview? During your interviews, did they ask you any ethics questions? Like, what do you do if you saw the doc prescribe the wrong medication? How was your didactic year? Any tips? So that is a lot, but I'm going to like deconstruct it and answer it. So first off, congratulations! Congratulations on your PA school interview. That's so exciting. You are like one step closer. Um, so really excited for you with respect to that. How did I prepare? So I did research on the school and then I did research on the community that the school should like be serving and I did research on the like s the largest school that my particular graduate medicine school was under and I kind of like just kind of stalked different like Facebook pages and things of that nature I went ahead and asked like what are some general PA school questions and those didn't help me that much because I didn't get asked any of those questions but I do suggest you probably go to some of those uh, forums about PA schools for or specific PA schools in the different states that you are going to go to, like just type in like PA school interview forum and something should pop up with the different schools. And you can look and see how people are doing, um, who've gotten accepted, uh, who hasn't, what they did, what they didn't do, um, what they felt that they could have done better. But that's um, also something that I did. But with respect to my interview itself, did they ask me questions on ethics? Yes, they do, because I mean, you're going to be in medicine and you have to understand like healthcare ethics. Um, you're dealing with people's personal private information, understanding how to deal with that as well as dealing with your attending or your physician or you know your colleague uh, nurse practitioner or um, your nurses that are underneath you in terms of like how delegations and things like that go you have to understand how to actually navigate that route and do that so they want to know what kind of person you are and one way to understand that is by asking you ethical questions so yes i did get asked ethical questions and as far as my didactic year um didactic year is hard it's very very hard um it's not easy but i'm managing i'm making it through i only have two months left of didactic year eight weeks oh my freaking goodness well is it eight weeks i don't know i have like a few like i have some weeks left okay like it's literally like two months or so not that much time left i will be done in may so really excited about that uh but it's definitely doable don't worry too much about didactic gear you will be fine um just concern yourself with getting in and and doing well on this interview that you have been blessed with is phlebotomy a good route to go does most schools accept it as pce i plan to get my cna and use it next summer maybe i just want to have very experienced so that is good. Having varied experience is a great route to go. As far as phlebotomy, for the, from what I understand, most schools do accept that as patient care um, experience or patient contact experience um, because you are drawing the patient's blood on a consistent basis and, and doing much more as well. So yes, um, it is considered PCE for most schools, but a good way to just kind of have, oh my goodness, I'm about to sneeze you guys. <laughs> Hey guys I don't know what happened a good way to just kind of like dispel any question out of your mind is just by calling the school that you're going to apply to um, they're really really good at answering those questions or looking on their website some schools have like a list of things like their preferred patient care experience less preferred or non patient care experience they have a listed out for you so you have options but if you literally for me like I wouldn't just take my word for it I would definitely go and get that information myself by going to the school's website calling them or like looking on the school's website to see what exactly they consider patient care 
experience. What do you think the best laptop for PA school is and why? Are there any apps or programs you use that work best on a certain laptop? So um, I have an HP, that is the laptop that I had prior to PA school and I didn't go ahead and buy a new laptop. Now personally, um, with my school, we use ExamSoft to take our tests. It is the software that you have to download that then like shuts everything down on your computer so you when you're taking your test you can't like get on the internet and look up questions to try to cheat your way through school or anything like that you know you can't pull up your notes because you're literally just in that exam alone so that's what the exam soft does but for some reason everyone that has a pc laptop has problems with exam soft in my class like our laptops shut down or um, we can't upload our exam um, or you know it takes forever and a day to actually get onto the exam like so I'll be starting like you know like I'm there I'm like I type in my password and I'm ready and I hit start and then like I'm there for like another good minute while I see everybody with their Macs just like clicking away at answers. And so for me, I feel like a Mac by, might be a better option. Um, I'm actually looking into getting a Mac for school just because of the amount of material that I'm downloading um, and holding on to with on, on my actual computer and then on my secondary hard drive. Um, but just being able to have access to it right there on my computer is an, a better option for me. So that's what I'm looking into uh, I had a friend who had an HP, she just bought it for PA school and it conked out on her. Um, but luckily she had uh, like a warranty or something like that and she went and she traded it in and got a Mac. So, and she's loving her Mac. So I think I'm gonna go the Mac route. For me, I think that a Mac might be a better option for school, just again, because of the amount of information that we're holding on to, And then you don't necessarily know what um, software your school is going to be using to allow you to take your exams but if it is exam soft then you definitely should get a Mac because the HPs and the PCs in general like don't do too well and all like we only have HPs and Macs in my class so that's where we're at. Approximately how long are PA schools or do they vary from different schools? So yes, they absolutely vary from school to school. Um, generally speaking, they're anywhere from 24 to about 27 months. Um, you'll have schools that may be like a little bit longer, like 28 months or so, um, but it is typically two years. It's like a two year program. So my school, we're, so we're May to May to May to August, May, June, July, August. So we're 27 months, my school. While there are some schools that are 24 months um, and a little bit more is condensed in. But typically you just have to look at the school and see, hey, uh, do I wanna be in school for a, just literally two years or um, two years and some change and, and what comes in that change? Because uh, one of those months is literally just us studying for our pants. So um, I'm really, really grateful for that. Uh, so far, our school has had 100% pass rate on certification exams for our, our students. And I think that um, that's due in part to that month of summative where we're just studying for uh, the exam. So look at your school that you're applying to and see what is entailed in those 27, 24, 26 months and um, go from there. But generally speaking, it's anywhere from 24 to 27 months, i.e. two years. So another one in the books, you guys, <laughs> another one down. Um, again, leave your comments below with your questions. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer on the next PA Q&A Tuesday video, um, I will be choosing from comments written in the comment section under these videos for the next video. So go ahead and do that. Um, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now. Right now. And follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.